here we go hey nia i'm gonna add you now okay here we go right hey how are you how are you you look lovely thank you <laughs> how Your skin is radiant <laughs> How's it going? It's going really, really well, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. What are we, week nine? I know it's been a, it's been a long, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. Thank you for me on here, pardon. Thank you for having me on here. No, what, thank you for wanting to be on here. This is, um, I was saying earlier before you came that this is my new series where we're just going to be keeping up with special guests and their mental well-being. It's just chill vibes, something relaxing, where we can just get to know each other and support each other during these uncertain times and just uplift people. So thank you so much for wanting to be a part of this. No worries. So before we begin, how are you, Leo? How have you been? How have you been? Um, there's reggae music playing in the background and it's distracting me, so I just need to go turn it off. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Thank you guys for joining. There we go. I don't know how it got loud by itself. You know, some <laughs> are like louder than others. I was like, oh, my brain stop focusing on that. Um, I'm doing really good today. Like yesterday and today were a bit weird for me. Okay. And, and it just gave me time to like reflect and just think about the direction I want to go into mm -hmm. my career and things that choosing things that make me happy versus choosing things that feel safe. Okay. So. I had to go with what made me happy but other than that I feel good I feel very creative and I'm really enjoying like spending time with myself mm -hmm. I've time with self in a really long time it feels so nice to just get to know myself without people distract a routine anything like that it feels mm -hmm. really good. yeah definitely and it's nice to hear that you actually are enjoying you know quarantine and just having that time to be by yourself and just kind of get to know yourself because that's one thing that we actually now have time to do is to really get to know ourselves and really kind of connect with ourselves and just be gentle with ourselves during this time yeah so it's nice that you're also enjoying that as well oh i'm seeing a lot of love hearts thank you guys thank okay, you guys so I know recently you partnered with Boots, where you were also speaking about mental health and self-care. Um, how was that for you? How did you find that? Um, it was actually a really fun video to make because yeah. I love creating, but it wasn't for me. It was for their platform. So usually yeah. I consider my aesthetic and my brand, but because it was for them, it was a bit of a challenge because they obviously had their requirements. So yeah. I had brief and it was very specific. Um, okay. So like creatively it was fun and challenge and then seeing the video like be edited by someone else, it was nice to offload that control mm -hmm. you have to everything I do. So yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. And, and it looked very fun. Even when I watched it, I could see your creative side and oh, the different activities that you enjoy doing. I know you mentioned a lot of things that we will kind of speak on today. Um mm -hmm. so during quarantine, how have you been feeling mentally? Um I, it's varied. I don't mm -hmm. want to start saying as an excuse to say I'm a Gemini, so I have two sides or whatever. <laughs> we, I was like, wow, I've got, I didn't know how much time we had. I, I predicted we'd only been quarantined for a month. So I was like, wow, we've got, like, I'm going to create so much content. Because obviously I sat on and I neglected my social media job so much. Okay. So create every day, but all this, <laughs> do this, and then... The second week, I was like, wait, what's going on? And <laughs> this this is, like, crazy. I haven't had this time for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very hectic, unhealthily. Mm -hmm. this. So now having to adjust my mind to teach it that today you're going to wake up and the biggest activity you're going to do is make it. My brain was like, oh, this isn't good enough. Like, you need to be making money. You need to be mm -hmm. customers happy. You need to be it was a war having these two voices fight and I was like all right guys calm down and I then created this routine where it wasn't really a routine but I'm gonna wake up and whatever I feel like doing I'm gonna do so right. if I, I was like 
today I want to make five YouTube videos. I'm rolling with it. I'm not going to question it. And then if I wake up the next day and had those expectations to make the videos, but I feel like it, I would forgive myself, accept that, and do what I feel like doing. So that was the routine I set, and now it's really helped because, for instance, today and yesterday, it's been about admin and, like, being by my laptop. But then tomorrow, because I've done all those things, even though I can't predict what energy tomorrow will bring, I yeah. anticipate that it will be for the creative side. So that's just how I've been doing that's it. Lo that's lovely to hear, and it's really inspiring. And I love how you said, you know, tomorrow you don't know what energy that will bring. So it shows that you're a very spiritual person and that you really kind of go with the energy and go with the flow. And I think, you know, that's very important, particularly with how you said within your routine, you know, you go with the flow and you do what you feel like doing. And yeah. if you don't get to do it, you forgive yourself. And I think that's so important to just go with the flow and just go with what your mind and your body's saying for you to do. So I hope that everyone watching will kind of take note from that and just kind of not put too much pressure on themselves and just go with the flow because tomorrow is uncertain for everybody. So we have to just start listening to ourselves a bit more and start, you know, working with our mind and our body connection. Yeah. So have you been quarantined by yourself or have you? By oh, myself. Mm -hmm. that's good that's good okay so in relation to quarantine then what have you been getting up to so what would be a day with Nia during quarantine um wait I see this really long question How do you want to scroll up afterwards and do questions or you want to do them as you go? okay what we'll do we'll okay we'll turn off the questions and then once we've finished our conversation everyone can kind of put some questions in um yeah so just that I don't get distracted but yeah sorry about that um a typical day so I, I always wake up with the sun like and my apartment's so bright so usually I always wake up like really early like 7 a.m sometimes and I get so excited because I'm like, <laughs> the whole day like and I can do whatever I want with it um mm -hmm. Is, I always say like open your window for fresh air but my window is always open anyway so I usually always write what I'm grateful for and then I play lo-fi beats or like relaxing jazz or something like that and then um, brush my teeth have a shower have my breakfast and then I usually I always map out my day so it's very structured on my calendar so like today I spent half of the day doing interviews and then emails and stuff and then the second half I created so I tried to like set myself not strict time stamps but I'll be like from 9 to 12 I'll do so that in case I start at 10 I don't feel guilty and then I'll try to use the food um times as a way to keep myself balanced so like knowing by midday to one I have to have lunch or else my stomach by two <laughs> and then by six to seven I have to have dinner but obviously today because the live I'll have it later so I try to go with the flow of like food maybe okay that's really I like the fact that you have your morning routine how you know you wake up with gratitude because that's so important particularly with what's been going on in the world with you know many people either losing loved ones or you know losing family members and being on furlough losing jobs it's very important that we take this time to just be grateful for the things that we have around us at the moment and you know just be grateful for just life basically yeah so it's, nice, it's a nice way to start off your day being grateful and then you know kind of going into your morning routine with brushing your teeth and attending to your um physical hygiene so that's nice that's a nice way to kind of you know introduce your day and stuff like that so that's that's really nice to hear um in relation to self-care so for me i have been literally self-care self-care every single day i've been actually implementing new techniques to my self-care so for yourself in relation to self-care have you been implementing any new techniques or have you just been adapting to your original self-care routine Pardon me. Um, I I used to be really big on like uh, self care Sundays, but then I opened a salon and I started working in the salon on a Sunday, so that left <laughs> self care isn't one day only, and it's mm -hmm. not mean facials and deep conditioning your hair. Like it's a variety. even saying no. It's turning your phone off. It's going for a walk. Like self care is defined by the individual. So. The recent things I've adapted in my 
routine is I like to wear nice clothes when I'm at home. Oh, nice. I, I, like, I would literally walk up to the mirror and be like, you look good. And then, <laughs> good. And then can move through the day, like, just waltzing around my house, like, feeling like one cute, cute. I like that. <laughs> in that and then I also I feel like if I at least do my eyebrows and do a little lip balm like I feel good as well on the physical and even though my exterior doesn't define me but knowing that I look good will help me feel more productive it's like if I'd go out on a normal day if I wear like sweats and clothes that don't enhance my figure or that aren't vibrant or that don't give me a positive memory or whatever I won't feel good walking around the street. Whereas if I wear jeans that make me have a bounce in my step or like a cute shirt or whatever, then I want to continue moving around the day. So that's just how I try to look at it. Like if I was in an outside world, what would I do? Yeah. And, um, into music, but music, so reggae, Brazilian music, um, lo-fi beats, so I try to incorporate sounds because I'm consuming it subconsciously. But I try not to have like swear words or just music of today. Like I like old school music. It's uh -huh. gives you positive energy. Uh -huh. And eating as well. Like um, I love to have fruits, water. I, I literally like I eat so much. <laughs> I was like, the more I buy, the more my skin breaks out and then it's a cycle. So yeah. Just like little things, I guess. Oh, that's lo that's lovely to hear. And I like, especially how you mentioned about memories, when you said, you know, you wear things where you can create a memory and create that feeling. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really special because I've never heard anyone say something like that. So it's really special to kind of, you know, create memories for your days and, you know, however creative you want to create your memories, whether you do a hairstyle or you do a certain makeup or mm -hmm. dress nice or wear different pair of heels or shoes. It's nice to kind of, create that memory so you know you can look back and say you know I felt good that day and I looked good that day yeah. and it's still kind of you know elevating your psychological well-being so I really do like that and I'm gonna actually give that a go myself That's the real thing I learned that in media, like when you literally take your mind away from reality so like this top I remember I wore in Cape Town and on that day I got the best ice cream and then my shorts I brought in Croatia so I remember going to like this alleyway and being in a vintage shop and I found it and I was like, oh my God, I need these. Cause I'd run up, I was living on a boat and I didn't expect to like need clothes. But they're minimum. So me wearing this day, I'm like, I remember Cape Town, I remember Croatia and it gives me good memories. So. That's nice. Yeah, that's why I like to do that. That's nice. And I guess even when you're looking in the mirror as well, you can kind of take yourself back to that time, you know, where you were on holiday. Um, so, you know, if you were having a bad day, look in the mirror you know these mem these clothes give me good memories when I was here doing this so that that's really nice and I really like that um, I hope you guys listening take that on board and you know really find your creative side because I believe that everyone can be creative and it's just about knowing what you love and knowing what you enjoy doing and implementing that into your creative self-care toolbox or toolkit yeah. um in relation to eating, I know you mentioned about eating, eating healthy. Mm -hmm. um, what has been your go-to during COVID? Have you had a go-to where you always guilty pleasures or have you just kind of been eating Definitely healthy? A vegan lasagna in my Ooh. life. My thing. I'm oh, trying nice. to be as vegan as I can. Mm -hmm. So I like, I've, I've been a flexitarian for like four, three, four years now. Mm -hmm. I don't eat meat or dairy. Oh wow, okay. Times. So vegan lasagna, vegan spag bowl, um what else do I love? Rice and peas. Mm. <laughs> I just love like the rice and peas. <laughs> yeah. Nobody really love pasta um, and peas. <laughs> okay, you'll see them more. Um <laughs> and I also buy like these mini cocktails from Sainsbury's, like oh, nice. these mojitos and whatever. Or like rum and coke like those are like my it's a weekend vibe and I get my cute wine glass at like I'm in a bar in Jamaica so I just do little things like that but I don't really try to have guilty pleasures because most of the ones I have will lead me to me having a breakout or me feeling like so I try to fight those temptations so bad so you're very, you're very disciplined in what you do. And that's good because it shows in yourself. Like I said, your skin looks radiant. So, you know, you're on the right track and you're eating good food and it's kind of 
showing in your parents so that's really good um okay so i know you said you're the you're, you're the founder of curl bar london so since everything closing down how has that impacted you has that impacted your business in any way how are you finding things um i think it has impacted my business in all the right i was that's on, good. i was on a go i literally had been yeah, I had my launch party on the 9th. I opened on the 16th. And then it was just salon, 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 eat, breathe, salon, salon, go home, sleep, salon. Like, <laughs> three months old when it closed. So it's still such a newborn baby. I try to, like, look at it, look at things, like, metaphorically sometimes because then it puts things in perspective for people. But, yeah, being three months old, like, it's still so young. There's still so much to learn. So having to go through such a rapid three months where every day was fully booked we were so busy to now be still yeah. I was like okay let me reflect that yeah so well in those yeah. three months that some businesses would be years to do as well as I so I was just like really proud of myself it allowed me to stop chasing focus on today and then it also allowed me to see how I can improve on my engagement with customers like on everything mm -hmm. it's really nice and money so uh, there's no money but i'm not alone so that helps so good sometimes I'm like damn this really could have been summer and spring but it's yeah. okay i wouldn't exchange personal growth for money so fine oh that's good that's good to hear that you know things are going well for you and you're being optimistic about your business and you know Everything, I believe that everything happens for a reason and sometimes we go through difficult situations but we can always, you know, reflect back on how can we find a positive outlook on this or how can we let this situation help us? Um, because even for me, the fact that I'm able to interview you, you know, like you said, you might have been at the salon today, you know, doing um, your business. So, so I would have been at home. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's just nice to kind of, I feel like it's nice to just connect with people and, you know, just to really get to know each other, particularly with what's been going on. Um, okay, so how do you feel about uh, getting people to maybe ask you some questions? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to put the, I think we have, okay, yeah, we have questions. Uh, let me go through them. So do you comments even when um, you've turned them off? Pardon? I think, I think so. Oh, okay. We've got this question. Where did the name Frog Girl Ginny come from? Be my old name. And it's because where I grew up in London, around 2012 or 2013 is when the natural hair movement like really became a thing on the internet, especially on YouTube. And I started to wear my hair out, like, really big. And no one else was doing it at the time. At the time, it was shaved side of red hair. That was the fashion. So when I'd walk in the towns, like, boys would be like, Afro girl. And I was like, <laughs> full name. So then I took Fro girl. And then one of my nicknames is Ginny. And I was like, oh, that flows. And I rocked with that name for maybe four years. And I rebranded to Near the Light. And yeah. That's nice. That's, an, that's a nice story for that name. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we have any more. Do, 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 do. I know we had one that was typed originally, but I don't know if you can see it. Okay, yeah, I can see it. I'm going to read it because it's quite long. So it says, I loved your post about your acne scars. It was so impactful. Was it mentally relieving to share that? Also, are you trying to get rid of your scars or are you fully happy with them now? Um, I used to always talk about body acne, like, two years ago, especially when I cut my hair. And then, naturally, as humans, like, we talk about so many things because there's so many layers to us. So the topic of conversation became my book or opening a salon. And I kind of left that story, I guess, behind. Mm -hmm. So recently, whilst being at home, um, I noticed that my scars were affecting me because at the beginning of, you know, I was eating eggs, like I was craving these embalmed eggs and my skin got so bad from it. Oh. So now I'm 
scars from that which remind me like don't eat dairy if this is what you want mm. then, making a lot of content at home and I was like okay I can't photoshop this but I really love this picture or oh, I was and I was filming a video of me like twirling around and stuff and I was like oh I can't post this like all my scars I need to wait till they're healed and then I was like wait who told me that who said I need to wait and then I posted it and I put like a little comment in the bo at the end like PS I can still rock my scars and everyone was just like oh my god wow I I'm so happy you posted this. I've never seen this. And, whoa. And then I just posted, like, with that. And from then, I just decided, like, let me tell my truth. And as for if I'm trying to get rid of them, I think I understand why I get that. Like, so, prevent the scars. But it's not a thing where I'm like, oh, they, need to go. they need to go, they need to go. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, my skin and understand where it's coming from. And if I need to make in my diet so yeah that's really that's really interesting I like the fact that you know you know what caused your acne and then you you're mindful of being aware of you know what causes it and kind of not implementing that into your diet because I think that's so important because sometimes when people have acne or when they have scars um, a lot of the time they may not know where it's come from or they may not know what's triggering this so the fact that you took the time to reflect and identify with you know what was causing it and not implement that and be so strong as well um I don't know if you like your Zimbabwe and eggs but you know to be so strong to say I'm going to cut this out and you know focus on my skincare because you know it's giving me scars and causing my acne so that's 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 really lovely and really mm -hmm. motivational for people so let's see if we have any more comments I can't get rid of this box oh it's gone now okay uh, I know people are commenting at the top let's see uh, I'm just scrolling up. So one question, how did you feel opening your salon? Um, that's such a question. <laughs> I felt really good. And then when I opened it, I was like, oh, wow, no one prepared me for this. Like, <laughs> oh, stressful and with, in good reasons because I was busy but with business become, comes putting other things for yourself so mm, definitely like it's dying so yeah it was just, oh, it's oh. just putting before myself at first which I haven't really had to do I'm really good at balancing things you need to being a content creator and whatever being a different game that I did <laughs> Um, and with a salon owner who told me this is what you need to expect like this I did speak to Mono's hair who's an amazing mentor but she was obviously by herself mm -hmm. so coming from that space but to hear advice from someone who's my age and who was employing people but also the boss and also a content creator and also like, an author like wow. no stories so I was just <laughs> How am I meant to juggle all these all at the same time? And oh, it was a lot. So yeah, it, um, overall, it was a great experience. It felt great, but it comes with challenges that also balance out the greatness. Hmm. And I think I think that's good because in life we do need balance, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we are going to feel quite fearful, but we have to just feel the fear and do it anyway. And you know, eventually we will see the growth and the success from what we've done and it will balance out all of the sweating all of the tears and we'll be grateful for everything that we've been doing yeah so, yeah that was a nice way to end today's conversation thank once you. again thank you so much for speaking with me about mental health self-care and i really do hope that you continue to stay positive and wake up with your saying your great your great gratitude um and yeah just take care and hopefully we will speak to each other soon. Thank you for having me. Bye. No worries. Bye. So thank you everyone for joining today's live. I hope that you guys enjoyed our first series of Keep It Up With. I will announce tonight our second guest who will be tomorrow. So stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. Bye.